Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa on Thursday, February 26th. And I am here with Laura Ford, president of PTA. Hello. And Ing Hansen, who is the coordinator for the Friendship Festival this year, as in previous years. Yes, hello. And we are going to talk about Friday, tomorrow, Friendship Festival from 12 to 5 right here. So let, first, let's give the, the audience sort of an overview of the Friendship Festival. How many people um, and how is it organized, Inga? Well, it's about 4,000 people coming in to, uh, to ASD campus on the day between 12 and 5. And uh, they're being led through the middle school, high school offices, the hallway that we have, um, and then lead them through uh, to the big track that we have at high school. And uh, that's going to be loads of games, bounty castles, uh, a fun jousting game that we have for the big kids last year, and we're going to have again this year. We got your uh, favorite teacher in the dunk tank that you can uh, get very wet. And uh, in the cafeteria, we have loads of food. We got Thai food. We got um, Magnolia Bakery coming in, California tortilla. We got Papa John's. A lot of different types of food that you can come and try on. In the uh, gym, we have a silent auction where you can come and bid on baskets that the homeroom moms have put together, some really fun stuff for the kids. We got Lego, we got Barbie Malibu House, and we got um, different uh, trips from uh, different travel agencies and hotel stays, spas, and, and all sorts of very, very interesting items you can bid on. And in the other side of the gym, we have vendors. We have more than 100 different shops coming in, selling you jewelry or clothing or books. And uh, we have tutorings for your children if you want that. We got arts and crafts from both culture from here and we got from Africa as well. So lots of interesting things to come and look at. And um, after that, oh, sorry. <laughs> Out on the elementary field this year, we have um, opened it up. So we have human foosball. That is a new game that we're bringing in this year. So it's bigger and better than we've had. AMA, the Arab Mothers Association, are coming, opening up their tent. So if you want to see a real life falcon, that's the place to be. Now, days like this don't just happen. Um, they take uh, a chair who has 12 subcommittees. And when we think about the total number of volunteers, it's pretty amazing. An amazing turnout from, from parents, faculty, as well as involvement of the military. It truly is a, a real community effort. Laura, this day strikes a chord with all of us. We feel that in a sense it symbolizes a lot about what ASD is all about. Tell us, um, from your point of view, what is it that you love about the day? Well, Dr. Deb, I think as you said, it is a full community event and it, and it takes everyone to plan it and teachers, faculty, staff, uh, volunteers, parents and, and students. Everyone contributes somehow and I think everyone has fun and it really is with the diversity of activities and vendors and everything that we have this year, it just gets better and better. Um, and I think in, in large part, thanks to Ing, who's done this for three years, but it really is where the PTA is grateful to everyone who contributes to this community-wide event. And Laura, um, with over 4,000 people coming on campus, how um, much can we expect to bring in in terms of, of um, proceeds from the event? Each year, um, for the last couple of years, the event has brought in, netted, over 300,000 reals. And this money has then been put right back into the school to buy a number of projects and things like the sunshades over the pool and gate five and other uh, equipment and projects that the school has requested. Fabulous. So I think that, um the audience should get ready to come to an amazing day and to think that this area behind us 
um, will be opened up for the first time really with games for older students. In addition to all of the games that are on the high school, middle school field for younger students as well as older students. But it, it really is opening up a lot of different venues for kids of all ages. So kids of all ages and truly adults of all ages. There's something for everyone. This is um, ASD telegraphing a message to the whole community about the fact that we open our arms in friendship and we say welcome to our campus. Without PTA, this would not be possible. And on behalf of ASD, I want to thank these two folks as well as all of our volunteers for the long hard hours and the commitment. So we'll see you tomorrow at the Friendship Festival. We can't wait. Thank you.